All right, everybody, it's been a very long time. Six and a half years since 9 plus 10 first became a meme, but we're gonna sell this once and for all. And I'm very excited for you to see this firsthand. All right, everybody, for the, and also, debut live stream on YouTube and Twitch for real, New Year's Day. But now, we are dying to know we're, for the very last time, we are dying to know. Okay, Siri, what is 9 plus 10? It's 21. Well, there you have it. 9 plus 10 really is 21. Okay, everybody. Anyways, in case you guys did not get that 9 plus 10 thingy, I just want to say I turned 21 just this last Tuesday. And nobody got that, so I decided just to put that into this video instead. But anyways, I have a few errands to do this morning. Um, believe it, it, it's the day after, actually. It's Wednesday. So... Yeah. It's almost, I think it's just about midday. Yeah, it is Wednesday. Why don't you come say hi to our cat, to the cat? Say hi. <laughs> wow, she's really close up. Yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, link in description. I just started a Discord server, so. Um, yeah, it's going to be the first link in the description is where you can find the Discord server, so. And perhaps maybe you'll get to see more pictures of my cat, so. Oh yeah, also a bunch of new things coming too. If you see these doors, these have been mirror back doors. These have been here for a very long time. And I'm very happy to say that they are going to be getting replaced as part of the last part of the makeover, actually. The second part is when we actually paint everything over, and then there's going to be a new DX Racer chair to replace this one, and a new desk, and that, that should all be coming by New Year's Eve, so... At the latest, so, um... Of course, they'll probably get here before then. But yeah, the makeover is going along very, very smoothly. All right, let's um, let's get ready and go ahead and hop into the car. Look at the lovely, pleasant view outside. I'll show you guys in just a minute. In fact, let me just get some stuff ready and shut this engine off. All right. All right, uh, check out this lovely view. Lovely, isn't it? Make sure there's any restrictive signage in front of me. <sighs> but anyway, Celebrity uh, Millennium's out there, actually. <laughs> I see it over there. Here, yeah, right there. That's Celebrity Millennium. Haven't seen the Eclipse lately. <laughs> and then... Now you're looking at the downtown skyline in the distance. Well, almost. No, that's somewhere north of there. You got the penthouses. Then there's the bridge. The trees are blocking downtown skyline. There's a little bit of it in the East Village. Then over here would be Emerald Hills. And then there's some other little hills over here. And this is all over here, and then there's mountains over here. That is downtown skyline, and sorry for the shakiness. Did not bring my stabilizer with me. But that is downtown skyline right there, right in the distance. And that's where we started this series way back in January. There are a couple more things within that area. I already recorded those, 
but I'm going to share those with you when we bring this main series to a close next month in December. All right, let's go back to the car and get on out of here. Okay, that was... Okay, I left off on a Wednesday, so it is Saturday now. And this is not any ordinary Saturday. I uh, believe SpaceX has conducted their first Vandenberg launch of the year. Um, that was a... You may have seen that from another video of mine that I did. Um, they're doing their first launch of the year. And, ooh, the sun's cleared out, so we might actually get to see a little bit of chemtrails today. Um, of course, I'll have, the, have that on my Instagram and Snapchat stories, but, um, yeah, the, the webcast, actually, the tele um, it's being televised this time on, that, it, on NASA TV, so I'm going to bring it up on my computer right now. We're going to... We're going to see how it's going. All right. Let's... And then another big thing coming today is a big, 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 big package coming today. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Well, everybody, I saw my mask. But it was great. I actually got to take a photo of the chemtrail. Well, the next Vandenberg launch as of this video isn't it until summer 2020. We too, in... June, we should be having this small sat ride share mission, which is basically a bunch of satellites. And this will probably be the first one we'll have a third stage, which is interesting. Um, the next one after that is going to be the DART mission, and that is set for the 22nd of July. That is about exactly seven months from now, almost exactly seven months. Tomorrow will be seven months until then. Um, DART means double asteroid re redirection test. It's another NASA mission. So, it would be interesting though to see when the launch windows are because if one of them is somewhat after sunset and the sky is clear, we might get to see even the glow of the chemtrail. The last time we had that was in 2018, but I missed it. That was one of the Iridium missions I'm talking about. Uh, all right, um, now I await my package that is supposed to be coming today. Or, or the day after, who knows. Well, 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 it is... Well, I'd say it's about, um... It's almost 5 p.m. and the package I was expecting hasn't arrived yet. So I might as well either wait for tomorrow or continue waiting even if it goes in the dark. All right, guys, 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 guys. I know I have a mask and I have it for a reason. I just saw something on the webcam and it looked like a delivery truck that was like, though, I'm gonna go see what it is. And uh, I'll, just, I'll update you guys in a bit. Okay, everybody, so um, I just received another update um, from the, the courier that's trying to get this to me, um, is that it's going to be coming next Tuesday by the very end of the day. So it won't be in this video, it's going to be in the next video that I'll be receiving it. So just a little update on what that is. Um, it's something for this studio, but I can't tell you yet. I can't tell you until the next video. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and then take care of some place that I really love so much and I haven't gotten to see it since, like, the pandemic, so... See so you guys... Well, good morning everybody. Um, it is the next day and the day this video goes up and I had to drop something off this morning and then I had to get gas and now I'm going to go shopping at Whole Foods and then pick up some lunch. And then we'll end off this video. So, with that said, let's go. Alright, made it to Whole Foods. You guys haven't seen the dashboard Neo car. Here you go. Hey. Alright, so I'm gonna get off of this camera and I'm going to be anything I get, I find that will be from the photos from my phone. If, and that's how it's going to work for this. And then I'll see you when we get back and we'll drive on over to Plant Power. People have to wait in line because of COVID. But I shot this picture of the nearby AT&T Switcher building. 
and central office. And then this is um, what I got at Whole Foods, something vegan, because you know, you can find pretty much everything you need for a plant-based meal at any supermarket. All right, everybody, I'm just figuring out plant power right now. Right now it's still loading. I might have to restart the app, so. And I'm running out of time, so I gotta get it going and then I gotta get home, so. Well, that was a success. The final thing on this trip, and this is their flagship location, Ocean Beach, by the way. They have like seven now across Southern California. But it's a really good thing. It's all vegan, actually, as well. Uh, don't expect me to do a plant fire mukbang very soon, but that remains a possibility. But I'm going to be trying the apple pie shake. That'll be when we get home, but... Speaking of home, it's time to get going. We gotta go home. We're nearing the end of our trip. We're, we're nearing the end of our morning on the road. Time to head home. Time to head home. Let me put, right, I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll see you guys when we get back to the studio. Well, well, well. Made it back. Just ate. And now I'm about to try this apple pie shake. And you can see it has the cinnamon top that you normally expect from a pie. I'm gonna try it. Wow. It's actually so good. Well, I'm guessing that brings my total of the seasonal shakes that I had up to three. February, I did the sweetheart shake. March, I did the cloverman shake. And now for November, I had the apple pie shake. So that's three now, which is actually pretty good. So guessing with that said, we'll go ahead and roll through the week and yeah. So I said this in like the middle of this video, but the term of the week is courier and it means a private corporation that transport pack packages and commercial documents often to people's doorsteps. And that's FedEx, Amazon, and on track. And I think DHL are the big four. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and um, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, everybody, so. Here's some personnel just came up to the door. He's about to open it and see what it is. <laughs>